But before Abba had a second alt, yes, he was the only hero in the game who had only one alt. I thought they should give him power slap. Just ten times as much damage, PvP, one hit, one alt, half a second wind up, and then <laughs> thousand damage. You won't use it often, but when you do, it's gonna be great. But you know, they didn't listen to my idea. Maybe one day. When I'm in charge of everything, I'll give Abathur a third alt power slap. And it'll have the sound effect from all the WTF moments. I'm last pick, so I will fill. It's kind of ironic because this word is not filled by the brackets. Oh. Locked and loaded. Um. Five stealthers, I bet they wouldn't see that coming. <laughs> Ban Tassadar. I don't think Tassadar is used to counter Nova anymore. I don't think people feel like Nova is count counter worthy anymore. Wow, from the man himself. Um, maybe I'll go Samura. Do we need support? Play Valera, counters Genji memes. Arpsack. Uh, me and Valera have a difficult history. It's rather complicated. Honestly, this looks like one of the least support needed teams I've ever seen. I mean, I need it, but... If Arthas goes for Frostmourne Feeds build, I don't suppose he'll be needing support either. <laughs> Asano, you asked for Nova. It happened twice on stream today. Not by me, maybe, but this guy's a semi-Nova main. My dream has come true. <laughs> Osmo or Samura? I think both would work well. I think I think that makes it an Osmo pick. They have shit wave clear. <laughs> you, you really don't need support <laughs> on Infernal Shrines. I believe we have appropriately demonstrated this a week ago in the Asmodan Gaslo Sylvanas Diablo composition that we ran. <laughs> Grand Master Europe 16 May 2017 Greetings friend Zarya ready for duty Why would you take Zarya? I mean honestly they just lost the draft Can you not see the push power that explosive round Nova and Asmodan represent together? <laughs> I 
they have no wave clear. Unless they kill us five times per minute, I do believe they shall struggle to find a foothold in this game. Now I'm still, I'm still waiting for competitive scene to pick up on drafts like this. I really think with the coordination of pro teams that supports are vastly overrated. If you never make mistakes such as taking damage, you never need a fallback plan like needing support. Look at some of the, the, the great execution teams like Dignitas, Fnatic, MVP Black, MVP Miracle, etc. Hope you're ready, cause we start aren't in they, 10 seconds. Aren't they like too good to bother with support? Five. Genjo. I must retreat. No. Oh. <laughs> he killed Tychus. For now. Uh, wow, does this really was this really taste for blood comp? No, it's not. That's why I didn't. I don't have enough allies to stack taste for blood. I'm, I'm going for sieging wrath. It's easier to complete, and yet not very easy. I had a chance to get some hero takedowns from it, but uh, it never quite came into effect as my allies killed the opponent too fast. That's a bit of a problem. My allies are too too lethal. That's the problem with these no support comps. You're too late with your Q. Because they killed them already. I might be dead. Or not. I might be an Asmodan a survivor. Gang survivor. We are we have an unspoken agreement to give up the uh, shrine. As uh, we don't have the Let's say the traditional composition. A mortar punisher has been summoned by the bird. Which is okay, the first one isn't that strong. Isn't that funny, like, a Nova 
complaining about the draw. Oh shit. Just mean. I ran into Genji. Actually, their Punisher did more than usual amount of damage. They got two towers and some of the four. Usually, first Punisher don't do that much. As long as we maintain the XP lead, that will be nice. Back, Karazim. How could I have guessed? Another shrine will be active soon. Do not let our enemy claim it. These one second lasers are really doing it for us. It is time. Defeat the shrine's guardians and let loose the Punisher upon our foe. Two more stacks. I didn't stack that fast, but we're still getting there. <laughs> Shield barrier gone. Still ahead in XP. Nice job, fast up. One stack off. Now I get a bonus 100 damage and the range. Black pool and power my auto attacks. Out of the way. Help out our ally. We fall to learn to pick ourselves. That was unfortunate. The Falstaff base tanked them. Um, he was like, let's go. I thought for sure for sure he's gonna keep his ghost or barrel roll to get out. No way. He's dead. No. A lord of hell never dies. Ah, oh, Jiminy Jillikers. Ganja. Maybe I should soften them up, they're kind of unhealthy. Oh, close. A frozen Punisher moves against us. Out of the way! To pick, pick ourselves up. By the way, if you think your laser is gonna get cancelled, it's better to do two auto attacks or even one. Because I did 76 damage with my laser, and auto would have done 220 or something. Uh, I would say we were doing pretty good until we 
engaged into them here as we had superior position on the shrine. Excellently done, heroes. The enemy's punisher is no That was unfortunate. We don't have a traditional team fight, so we shouldn't play like one. And have false start. What just hit me? Tykus just threw me a grenade. She's a talent. So lame. I'll get Hellforged armor. Why are we fighting? Let's go back. Thank you. Just buffing my hero damage. Always use out. No, Ganjo. Activate the shrine. Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. Anytime you can trade Nova for something that's not Nova, that's a great trade. <laughs> I did say it's Hero League with commentary. The laser was to bait out his deflect. Ganjas cannot uh, ignore the value of um, lots of ticks of damage. So encountering Genji that jumps in, what you want to do is turn on that laser or anything that is a very rapid attack. Force deflect out of him, then immediately stop attacking so that you don't give him those daggers. And then you engage after he uses all that. Just as I planned. Oh. 
Why go that orb quest over the other? It's um, it's the less greedy one, and it has greater range. It doesn't have as much uh, damage at the at the best situation, but it's far quicker to complete. It's easier to complete. It doesn't burden your early games uh, like uh, you need to play a particular way, and it also gets that 33% bonus range. Taste for Blood gets better as you have about 250 stacks. Two Osmo Qs. Thanks, Nova. Mine is on 10 seconds cooldown. How about you? <laughs> A shrine gathers power. Prepare to activate it. I mean, I told you they were gonna lose. They didn't take wave clear against Asmodan. I mean, we could still throw, I guess. Show its guardians your resolve. Like if we get overconfident and we do like a two-man camp of their camp or something like that. I mean, 3v5 is pretty bad odds. <laughs> okay. Slow down, sonnies. I mean, it, it comes at a great price. What they're doing. <laughs> I just took like 10. <laughs> We're gonna take this as well. Aww. After they get everything pushed. Oh man. That's so unlucky. We still got it. Excellent. We have summoned a frozen punisher to fight for us. <laughs> Three lanes pushing, they defend them and still. Terminate this hero. Ah, he's a crafty fellow. Greetings, <laughs> Less than three. Our ally needs help. Yo, cyber power, thanks man. I don't know how Asmodan suddenly got so OP, but I think it's all the new Overwatch heroes. It's like, they're so mobile and and, and so poor wave clear, because Overwatch is a payload ma game. It's not an RTS game, where everyone is dropping Widow Mines in your Worker Alliance and split pushing and Zirkling run -bys. The answer is, Overwatch is defeated by Starcraft and, well, Asmodee and Diablo, obviously. By everything that's not MVP. Overwatch, anyway. I'm not even joking. Like, I know that there was a, a good measure of hilarity this game. But, I am not joking when I say that... You counter highly mobile ganking assassins with poor wave clear by specialists. Asmodan, Abathur. I mean, I did it twice in a row now. Uh, I mean, I, my team and I against their team. It could just be luck and statistics, like statistical anomaly or whatever. But 
As soon as you see there's two to three no wave clear heroes you take a specialist is pretty nice. Uh, this was the build. He went for Seasoned Marksman. By the way, Covert Ops with Snipe Master, Explosive Round, Perfect Shot. And his wave clear is 16,000. Not as much as he had last game where he had a whopping 20,000. But still well above the Nova Norm. Uh, I had Sieging Wrath, Infernal Globe, Hellforge Armor, Army of Hell, and Battleborn with Fifth Circle. Bolt is basically in a way better because it escapes you, but basically it's not better at all because this also slows their attack speed. It's actually, it has combat utility against auto attackers. I keep forgetting about the attack speed slow, like the movement speed I know, but the attack speed is pretty sick. I as an Asmodan, since your health pool is about 6,000, you probably don't need Bolt. You probably should not need Bolt. Also, you have great range. The conquest begins. No! Oh, Give up what for! Do not Count your mama. 